Greetings, it's the 15th of May 2021, and cyclonic storm Tau Te is currently spinning off the southwestern coast of India, and looks to be intensifying into a very dangerous storm skirting precariously close to the coast, on and onward, on towards Gujarat. Tau Te is moving north-northeast at 8 knots, with big thunderstorms circulating and now distinct low-level circulation. ASCAT caught this perfect pass over the storm, revealing the very distinctive circulation and resolving winds of over 50 knots, with the last JTWC estimate putting the storm at 55 knots, 1 minute sustained winds, which makes it a tropical storm on the Savas Simpson scale and a beta class tropical cyclone on the cyclone scale. However, looking at the latest satellite estimates, it looks like the storm is getting precariously close to hurricane intensity, or gamma class on the cyclone scale. The environment is very favourable with cooking sea surface temperatures of 31 Celsius over most of the Arabian Sea. This is a couple of degrees above normal in the region, which means the maximum potential intensity is extremely high at Category 5 all over the shop. The storm is moving north because it's on the west side of a deep subtropical ridge, and the challenge for the storm is it will be taking a path that, if it keeps it off land for long enough and far enough, then it will undergo rapid intensification. Unfortunately, it does look quite likely that this is going to occur, which is very concerning news for the coasts further north. Let's take a look at the Hurricane Wharf model. It intensifies the storm into a major hurricane strength system with winds of 120 knots or more by the looks of things. On the cyclone scale, it would be Zeta or Eta class, so we'll have to wait and see on this one. Looks extremely dangerous. The storm in this model does make landfall in western Gujarat as a very damaging cyclone. To compare, here is the European Center model, showing the storm going a little more to the east, skirting the coast very close to start with, but also still going into Gujarat at the end, but landfalling, yes, a bit to the east. There is unfortunately quite a lot of uncertainty in the forecast, with the tracks diverging quite a bit as the storm approaches the northern coast and into Gujarat. But generally, they all the storm into Gujarat, it seems, or in that region. As always, we will have a better idea tomorrow. So that's it for the moment. If you want to join the dus discussion, come join us on the Discord or leave a comment. If you'd like to see more updates over the next days on this storm, please leave a comment too to let me know that there is interest. Of course, subscribe. See you in the next one.